Hello everyone, and welcome to the drafting challenge. Um, it's been a, I think it's been a day or so since I did Billy's drafting challenge, and I'm I don't know if I'm like still like really salty, but I might be. Uh, in general, like I just saw like a Otsderva video about how people are not enjoying MMR, and I think like my drafting series is actually a perfect example of why people aren't enjoying MMR. It's like a... I was very new at Billy when I was doing drafting challenge. I think I say this in every killer I start. I don't remember if I did for Billy actually. I I at least try to say my skill level with the killer. And Oni's... I've only ever played Oni if I had a daily for him. It's a... He'll... When I ever have, like, a daily for a killer, I'll play them, and then I'll probably never touch them again. Or if I really enjoy them, I'll play them on my off time. For example, Nemesis, I play a lot. I played a lot. I played them in, a in the PTB when, uh, I think Cenobite came out, or where some, like, huge changes were coming out. I think, like, whatever update was, like, updating Plague. Uh, that's when I was on the PTP playing Nemesis constantly because I wanted to mess with his add-ons and like see like how zombies act and all that and Obviously, I don't like spending playing add-ons on this account because I just don't I'm just a hoarder that way um, But my skill level with Oni is pretty bad. I Don't really play him all that well. My experience with him is purely dailies and watching other people play him so most of the time i'm just trying to mimic what other players do or i'm trying to mimic what other players would do and i'm trying to do my own experience with him and how what i see from enemy onis but i've never really faced any onis with no add-ons i think like just like billy i really want to enjoy oni uh, Billy was just one of those characters I really wanted to try to learn, but obviously he had a really high skill cap. Uh, my personal feelings with Oni, from, from my experience with him, is that he's actually kind of broken. In that, like, he's like a combination of two killers in one. He's basically Myers and Billy in the same, uh, killer. And he does their powers better than both of them. Um, if you want, if you want me to explain, like... Oni's power is uh, when you get a hit, you get some blood, and then there's blood that appears on the map if someone's injured. You collect blood, and then you eventually become, you know, Super Saiyan, and you're able to instantly down, uh, dash through the map, and instantly break pallets. Now, uh, you, you could probably see the resemblance of why I said he's pretty much like a Billy, and that his uh, power is... He can break pallets instantly. Uh, but unlike Billy, Oni has a little bit more refined control on where he goes. Uh, with Billy and, like, high-level Billies, they uh, they like to do a curve, which is uh, they go into a loop, and then they do this little twirl at the pallet or at a side of a loop. And then they try to confuse you to stay in the other side of the wall, and then they'll curve and immediately get you because they do like a complete 180 curve or 180 degree curve or something like that. Uh, with add-on add list Billy, I don't think you can do that all that well. Uh, but with Oni, you don't have to learn curves. Oni is pretty straightforward with what you can do with him. There's a, a lot of little techniques like if you look up, uh, you could almost 180 your... A demon strike. <laughs> it's something that Otsderva learned or found out. Um, it's like similar to like how Billy can do the hug tech where he looks down and he loses all collision for some reason. And with Oni, if you look up, you just are able to spin your weapon a lot more. <laughs> so like, you see the similarities with Billy, but what really concerns me is that he's just a straight up better version of Myers. So like, when... When I think of Myers, Myers just uh, stares at someone and then they can instant down for like 60 seconds or whatever, however long. I don't remember the exact timing of his tier 3 completely add-on list. But Oni, 
But he just has a longer lunge, and he can bolt faster, and then he can instant down. That's Myers' power. But with Oni, Oni actively uh, uh, hurts people while chasing them to get his power, unlike Myers, who just stands there and looks at people. Yeah, he can obviously move a little bit, but you still are slowed down when you're trying to stalk someone. So, compared to Myers doing absolutely nothing and then instant downing, versus Oni, who actively takes a role in the game to get his power, I think it's just a huge discrepancy between the power of Myers and then, like, combining it with Billy, and it just makes this better than both of them a uh, killer. But... I don't, that's just my thoughts on Oni. I've, I've had people make fun of me because I said Oni's a little bit broken. I I don't think he's overpowered by any means. It just shows like how little love Myers and Billy has compared to Oni who hasn't really gotten that many changes. But he's still pretty much a better version of them two combined. And it, I've always thought that was weird and like people always think I'm weird for trying to like justify it. Be being broken doesn't mean you're overpowered. It just means that comparatively to other powers in this game, his power is pretty insane. <laughs> and like he's no nurse, but he's better than Myers in every way, and he's better than Billy in almost every way. I'm not quite sure how if he's better add-on wise, but add-on this wise, I don't really see a reason why Oni isn't just straight up better than those two. So, I'm going to try and discuss what perks I would like to get on Oni. Um, I think the obvious choice is the slugging builds, like Infectious Fright. Um, information perks, like Nurse's Calling, can be very helpful as well. Um, trying to keep people injured, so like Sloppy might be a good addition. Even though it's not like the best, it's still pretty good. Gen... Try, trying to stop gens and stuff like Fearmonger, uh... What was it? One of the, the Cenobites per Deadlock, that's what it's called. Deadlock and Corrupt Intervention. Stuff like that to stall the game, but also, like, be able to slug tremendously. One of, like, the Oni's biggest weaknesses is getting that first hit. And I don't know sure if there's any really perks that help with that other than, like, Monitor and Abuse or something like that. But, uh, Oni really relies on snowballing and getting that first hit as early as possible. I actually want to, uh, change my skin here because I actually got this on sale and I really love it. It's, uh, this skin right here. It's my favorite skin. It's one of my favorite skin designs in this game. And I actually really want to get Crumpus, the Trapper, uh, skin because it has, like, a similar vibe that I really like. Now, I've always been, like, a D&D &D fan. I never really played D&D, &D, but I played DDO, like, the MMRPG. And I I really like the Minotaurs there, and they, they look nothing alike, but... I mean, I really like Minotaurs. I, I think this Minotaur skin was, was really cool. So anyway, let's begin the perk buying process, shall we? So here... Oh, <laughs> before we start this... Let me describe the drafting challenge to you, even though it's been 10 minutes and I've been talking way too long. Um, the drafting challenge is that uh, I get a character that I'm about to start the challenge to level 50. So that all perks are unlocked on everyone. Like, I'm trying to get this challenge done before the artist comes out, which I think comes out in a week, hopefully. But if the artist comes out during, in the middle of the drafting challenge, then whatever. I would like it to be done before she comes out, but we'll see. Anyway, the drafting challenge is that I prestige a character that I want to start the challenge with, and I have 1 million blood points. I use those 1 million blood points to buy all the perks I can from the in-game blood web system, where I get the perks that they throw at me, I try to decide which ones I want, like for example, do I want surveillance level 3 or sloppy level 1? and I pick either one of those, and then I try to make a build out of what the blood web gives me. Then, I try to play two games, and those two games have to end with a 3k or more in order for it to be a win. That's basically the drafting challenge in a nutshell. I think it's a really fun way 
to try to learn a killer. Although learning killer right now, to, in my opinion, is a uh, really hard because <laughs> the MMR system is a uh, not the most well liked thing in the community. But let's start the challenge. <laughs> Okay, we're finally done buying all the perks, and uh, I wouldn't say we got like the best perks. I wanted, <laughs> I, I should have gotten Force Penance level two, but I really wanted to try Blood Warden now. I always like trying to get Blood Warden to work, even though it's like really hard to. Um, so this is like sixty to seventy to eighty seconds, I believe. Um, sloppy Butcher might be really good, and maybe Force Penance, so that we can keep them injured if they try to take Protection hits. But at my skill level, I don't think people usually try to do that. And Blood Echo might actually be super good. And then, like, I am thinking for, like, the next episode, maybe trying Hex Plate thing and Undying or something like that. I did, I did this combo with uh, Deathslinger and it was really fun. <laughs> and with also Thrill of the Hunt, so it's like it, it was all like fusing for a lot of other people in the game. So, yeah, I I think this is one of the best builds I could come up with. Oh, actually. Maybe instead of Blood Echo, we do the Scourge. Yeah, let's try it. I don't I don't think Blood Echo is going to be that helpful. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this out. Uh, man, this is actually really tough. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I could get rid of Blood Warden, but I really want to keep it. Just for the lulls. Alright, we'll try, we'll try it this way. We're going to try and stop them from healing as much as possible while also having Blood Warden. I think this would be a good build. Although Blood Echo would be nice to stop the exhaustion perks, um, I don't think people are going to stay injured for very long. And I'm not confident in Oni to be able to capitalize on this just yet. So let's get right into it, shall we? Alright, this is game number two. My game number two, I mean, my game number one went pretty okay. I just, I almost did a Blood Warden play, but then 
they just left immediately. <laughs> and, you know, it was sad. I really wish that was, like, the beginning episode, but, you know, sometimes survivors just have a third sense and know when Blood Warden's happening. You just never know. Got a boon. He did not play that very well. Dead hard? Nope. I don't have any scourge hooks nearby that I would like to go to. I probably could have reached that one, but I didn't want to risk it either. I might as well just get the hook. I'm still not convinced how uh, good the church hook is even, even is. Go kick this. She just kept running. She's running towards where Bill is. Yeah. I don't know why she did that. I thought she would hop the window, if I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Why would you obviously run to me like that? I wasn't gonna reach that, unfortunately. She's running too far away for this. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that you weren't there for the save, but hope you feel better about it. I can get this hit, I'm pretty sure. Like, I know I saw that Leon, like, I, but, I don't know, I kind of just expected the Feng Meng, I guess. Okay, they're running very unappetizingly towards somewhere else. And this is the fun bus. Actually, it's the actually bad version of Bunk Plus. Here she's second state now. Is it still regressing? I just see someone back here? Um, she can loop the... She can loop that all she wants. That's two people doing gins, maybe, and then, like, I'm just gonna have a kill. Doesn't bother, bother me any. Like, I know I've been, like, playing really shitty, but it just feels like with the current MMR, like, how MMR works, this is how, to, how I have to play. Like, I'm trying to protect two gens as well. Uh, she could have Unbreakable. She's playing like she's playing meta. Huh? So since I already can't do this much, I might as well just complete it. Wait, where did she go? Yeah, it's, I 
I just feel like I feel awful that I I feel like I have to do that in order to win. Like yeah, it sucks, but what are you gonna do? And it doesn't work, by the way. If you just run at me like that. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, she unhooked herself. Okay. She gave up. I don't blame her. Like, when Killer has to play like that in order to win, yeah, I guess giving up is the only option you have. Damn nice. Okay. I didn't hit for survivors? I thought I did. Oh well. Up oh, DTs. I did play pretty scummy there. I mean, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> um I I don't know what else I could really have done better there besides, you know, just playing better, but I'm literally learning Oni. As it is, and it's really hard for me to get my power off. Like as you see, that Leon did that little swerve, so like it was hard for me to see like where he was going to be at exactly. But yeah, let's uh, continue on. All right, game number three. Here we go. I'm starting to like be like easier going about all this, but that last game, I wasn't really tilted last game or anything. I just felt like bad that it. A situation happened that I had to like stick to camping because the alternative was just letting everyone go doesn't run to the pallet first so I get a free first hit That's exactly what I mean with Dead Heart, too. I outplayed her, but it didn't matter. <laughs> she faked it again. <laughs> okay. I'm really mad about that. <laughs>
Yeah, but that's like my one chase of was two gens done. That's crazy to me. Oh my god. And she's like like am I supposed to commit to like this really powerful loop? <laughs> Yep. Look at that. I outplayed her, but it didn't matter. She pressed E. I think Dead Heart is the most upsetting part about Killer for me right now. I'm glad they nerfed D-Strike, and I'm actually happy with D-Strike as it is right now. And I think people still complain about it, but Dead Heart is the most, is the most uh, hated perk in my book right now. It's not hard to use. It's a, it's a perk that doesn't really require anything that's different like uh being injured is a normal part of the game uh. let's try to do a sneaky peeky here I don't know if I could hit that or not. I actually have no idea if I could hit that. I can't even see him. down. can literally do nothing about it. I don't know why she tried doing the dumb tech. That was way too late to do it. See, look, now, now I have this predicament of I have to camp this gen and this person otherwise I lose the game. Like, what possible scenario do I win this game is that's like slugging, like any toxic thing that people will think, like tunneling or camping. What other thing that I can do to win this game that's completely fair for survivors? And that's, that's why like I get so upset with this game. I have no control of winning this game unless I do something completely scummy. Especially when I'm trying to learn how to play a killer. There is a quadet. They're running super far away too. Oh, there's quadet. He wasn't gonna hop that easily. Yeah, like I straight up lose now, because that gen got done. And that gen's still pretty much done. Because <laughs> he touched uh, that guy, I know he doesn't have trick anymore. I didn't know she was death hooked. 
Were they healing right there? Looks like they were. Like, I'm trying to learn mind games too, but when they don't work, it kind of sucks. But yeah, then I also just don't know that she left the loop, so... I got fucked over there. man running. She bolted it last time, but yeah, this time. I guess not. I didn't mean to do the fucking lunge! God damn it. Okay, I'm out of power. He's on the gate then. No, okay, so Quiet's gonna hide in this corner then. That sucks so much. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? I can't believe it, man. I can't believe Blood Odin worked. That's what you get for being a cocky piece of shit, man. <laughs> like, I, I guess this game did tilt me a bit because I'm fucking acting like that, but oh my god.
I, this is exactly what I mean. Dead Hearts the only reason I don't really like playing Killer. It's because Dead Hearts such a fucking meta perk, and it doesn't really feel fair. Like every time I get Sprint Person or Balance Landing or Lithe. Yeah, sometimes I angrily go like, you had that situational perk right then and there, but like in Dead Heart, it's just so widespread. I have to deal with it all the time. It's so easy to use once you master it that it's just such a frustrating perk to deal with, especially when I'm playing a character that can't deal with it all that well. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this drafting challenge. I think this time I'm going to try and just continuously play Oni throughout trying to get a million blood points, trying to play solely Oni as much as I can. Unless I get bored and I want to play some other killer. I just want to... Like, uh... With Billy... With Billy, I just played Billy, like, a couple times, and then I went to play Survivor, or played some other killers, and then I went back to Billy. And I thought maybe that would have been better, because the MMR would have given me a, a little bit lighter, less sweaty killer uh, survivors. But... Uh, once I got to the end of the Billy drafting challenge, I got some of the, like, the worst, the, like, the most sweaty survivors ever. And I think that was only for that one game, though. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.